What's up folks, it's Ray Pooperton the third with another Infinite Warfare Zombies video. Today I've got a video going over the new weapon, the RVN. It's an assault rifle conversion melee weapon that was added in a recent update. The AR function of the gun is not very powerful and there's not much special about it. The real point of interest for me was the melee function. When you switch to the secondary function, the weapon splits apart and becomes two melee weapons, one in each hand. They're reminiscent of the Galva Knuckles from Black Ops 2 and give you a nice boost to your lunge range. On top of that, there's a slight speed boost when the melee mode is active. Pair this with the Rings Charm on Raven the Redwoods and you won't even have to worry much about lunging into a situation you can't get out of. There are a few variants of the weapon that may be of interest to you. The Brain Case Bruiser gives the melee a damage boost that adds one round to the one hit kill cutoffs I will go over shortly. The blowout epic variant causes a cone explosion that damages nearby enemies. I've seen mixed reviews on this variant in the Reddit Zombies community. So far the RVN is found only in the mystery wheel. Maybe soon we can hope for a DLC map with this awesome gun on the wall. If so it will be a must buy for me because this thing will rack you up some points. At 130 per kill this melee weapon is a point monster compared to the standard melee weapons which only give you 60 per kill. Now I'm going to break down the one hit melee cutoffs for this weapon. If you have the brain case bruiser variant, you can add one scene to these cutoffs. At round 15, the RVN will require Slappy Taffy to keep your wet work going. Once you grab it, you're good for another 6 rounds. At round 22, the RVN will need to be pack a punch once to continue your knockout punch. Head to the projector and drop the 5 grand for the new and improved Dr. Own. A good use for melee weapons is to clear the path for training a large area. Melee anything in front of you, and once they are all hoarded up, turn and blast. At round 27, you will need to double pack the gun to keep up the rampage. If you are on ZIS, you will need to complete the main egg to do so. A guide for this will come up now. If you are on Rave, if you beat the ZIS egg, the fuse will carry over. If not, just grab the fuse from the spawn and install it. A guide for that will come up shortly as well. Once you double pack the RVN, it becomes the MF Stein. I can't help but wonder if this is a nod to R.L. Stein, the author of the Goosebumps books. If so, that's dope, I grew up on those books. <laughs> Once you have the MF Stein, you're good for another two scenes. I was hoping for more for dropping 10k on the upgrade, but alas, at round 29, the one hit kill bloodbath is over. And that's all there is to the RVN. Stay tuned for another breakdown and cutoffs video on the Reaver variant as soon as I get it. I hope this guide helped. Likes and subs are appreciated. Peace!